Peptic ulcer disease is a break in the inner lining of the stomach, the first part of the small intestine or sometimes the lower esophagus. An ulcer in the stomach is called a gastric ulcer, while one in the first part of the small intestine is a duodenal ulcer. The most common symptoms of duodenal ulcer are waking at night with upper abdominal pain that improves with eating. With gastric ulcer, the pain may worsen with eating. The pain often described as burning or dull ache. Other symptoms include belching, vomiting, weight loss, or poor appetite. Peptic ulcers may be asymptomatic. A peptic ulcer is defined as disruption of the mucosal integrity of the stomach or duodenum, uh, leading a local defect or excavation due to active inflammation. Peptic, peptic ulcer disease most common caused uh, by Helicobacter pylori, 70% of cases. Lifetime prevalence of peptic ulcer disease is 5 to 10%. Eradication of Helicobacter pylori reduces reoccurrence of uh, peptic ulcer disease. Uh, factors that increase risk uh, for peptic ulcer disease include advanced age, excess pepsin, excess ace acids, uh, non steroidals, low dose aspirin, ischemia, hypoxia, bilesis, delayed gastric emptying, hypercalcemia, drugs, alcohol, and defections. Location of cell uh, ulcers Duodenal ulcer occur in the first portion of the duodenum, in 90% of cases. Gastric ulcer in the lesser carvacha near the incisia angularis. Gastric ulcers fewer than 3% are malignant. Gross appearance of ulcers. Ulcers are clean, sharply de uh, demarcated, and slightly elevated around the edges. Most gastric ulcers are benign. A small percentage may be malignant, which is the reason why they are biopsied. Complication of uh, peptic ulcer disease. Bleeding, most commonly ulceration of gastric artery. Uh, bleeding spontaneously ceases in 80% of cases. Perforation, pain radiates to left to right shoulder, gastric uh, outlet obstruction, pancreatitis, uh, difference between uh, duodenal ulcer and gastric ulcer, epigastric pain exacerbated by eating, it's gastric ulcer, epigastric pain uh, relieved by eating, duodenal ulcer, gastric ulcers are most common in older persons, while duodenal ulcers are common in young people. Upper GI barium study identifies 70 to 80 percent of uh, peptic ulcer disease. Duodenal ulcers are rarely malignant, hence they are usually not biopsied. The diagnosis is mainly established based on the characteristics of symptoms. Uh, stomach pain is usually the first signal of peptic ulcer. In some cases, doctors may be treated ulcers without diagnosing them with specific tests and observe whether the symptoms resolve thus indicating that their primary diagnosis was accurate. Confirmation of diagnosis is made with the help of tests such as endoscopies or barium contrast x-rays. The tests are typically ordered if the symptoms does not resolve after a week, weeks of treatment, or when they first appeared in a person who is over age 45 or who has other symptoms such as weight loss because stomach cancer can be caused similar symptoms. The diagnosis of Helicobacter pylori can be made by urea breast test, biopsy, stool antigen test. First line treatment of peptic ulcer disease is um, triple regimen, in which pantoprazole and claritromycin are combined with either amoxicillin or metronidazole. Eradicate rate is 70%. This treatment regimen can be given for 7 to 14 days. The rate of eradication can be increased by doubling the dosage of pantoprazole or increasing the duration of treatment for, uh, to 14 days. Quadruple therapy pantoprazole, clitromycin, amoxicillin, and metronidazole uh, can also be used. The quadruple therapy can achieve an eradication rate of 90%.